the S&P just downgraded China's credit rating. In terms of the debt, the amount of debt, in your opinion, is China accumulating too much? How much is too much depends on the context. If the government control basically all the banks and you have very little foreign debt, uh, then it's not a big issue. So downgrading, I can understand why, uh, because there is a lot of debt. But that said, I don't think, think that debt is going to be cause uh, serious economic trouble. Chinese authorities are stamping down on uh, flipping of properties. So on the residential side, uh, a lot of the Hong Kong and Chinese property developers have been hurt by this news. And a lot of people are saying this is uh, a move ahead of the Chinese Party uh, Congress meeting. Do you think this is just a cycle or is this possibly going to continue? I believe that the best way to manage uh, the real estate sector is by managing the supply. But given unique situations in the mainland of China, uh, supply is, seems to be forever short. So the government has no choice from time to time to use, um, to, to manage demand, which to me is not preferred, but I can understand given the, um, the way real estate prices have been rising um, to manage demand as an interim means is perhaps necessary, but in the long haul, the way to have a more healthy uh, real estate, in particular residential real estate uh, sector, is really to manage uh, supply. Supply in tier one, tier two cities might be short, but in three, four tiered cities, there there is an oversupply. So how do they manage this imbalance? Well, China is a big country. You cannot use the Singapore or Hong Kong mentality to look at the United, uh, the, to look at mainland China. Some places can be extraordinarily hot, while other places are very, very cold. When you have a country that is as big as China, you're going to have uh, differential uh, from city to city.